again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 30th of January, 2019. After you uh, listen to this uh, video, you might find yourself emptying your cupboards of certain products. Put up by CBSN Live. There's an embedded video you may want to take a look at. It was again published on the 30th. Title, New Report Finds Heavy Metal Like Arsenic and lead in 45 packaged fruit juices. Some popular fruit juices may contain heavy metals according to a new report out Wednesday morning. Consumer Reports tested 45 packaged fruit juices for heavy metals like lead, arsenic, and cadmium, and found measurable levels in every product. Long-term exposure to these metals could cause some serious health risks like kidney disease and certain types of cancer. <laughs> like I said, you might find yourself running to your closet, your cupboards, and emptying certain fruit juice products. While improvements have been made since Consumer Reports last tested juice products eight years ago, they now recommend parents give their children less juice. Hmm. You know who I'd like to see test these products? Mike Adams. Uh huh. I wonder what kind of conclusion he would come to. Consumer Reports Chief Scientific Officer James Dickerson and his team tested 45 different juices for four heavy metal substances inorganic arsenic, lead, candium, and mercury. They found that every single product contained a measurable amount of at least one heavy metal, except for mercury. 21 of the samples contained one or a combination of heavy metals that reached a level Consumer Report researchers deemed concerning for daily consumption. They said the metals found in seven of the 21 samples had the potential to harm children who drink only a half a cup per day. According to the CDC, long-term exposure to heavy metals may put people at risk for kidney disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, damaged ability to learn any certain type of cancer. Consumer Reports is recommending parents lower the amount of juice they give their kids. How about down to zero? So they should be concerned, but don't panic. Frequent exposure to these heavy metals through the juice is the concern, James Dickerson said. The Juice Products Association, they don't have any vested interest in this, huh? Whose board of directors includes executives from Pepsi-Cola, Welsh's, and other juice brands whose products were tested said they haven't seen the full study that called the results unfounded and told CBS News that they are committed to providing safe and nutritious products that meet FDA standards. They also said that there is no scientific evidence indicating that trace levels of heavy metals have caused any negative health concerns. But Dr. Leo Trenzin, Director of Environmental Pediatrics at New York University School of Medicine said, quote, the science is telling us increasingly that there are particular time points in life when even a small amount of exposure, for example, can disrupt hormones and thereby contribute to disease. He recommends parents swap the juices for something else. Quote, my suggestion is they simply eat an apple, preferably organic, and drink water as a substitute for these juices. Transanda said. In the 2013, the FDA proposed limiting inorganic arsenic in apple juice, but no change was ever made. The FDA had no comment. Consumer Reports said their findings are a spot check and should not be used to draw definitive conclusions about specific brands. CBS News reached out to all the juice companies. Ten responded, saying their products are safe and follow all food safety guidelines. Well, no one's saying that they don't follow the safety guidelines. What we're saying, according to this article, is that those heavy metals exist. 
in those products. And there's no doubt in my mind that giving those kinds of juices with heavy metals to children that are developing can't do anything that's positive. You want to, for certain, pass this along to your like-minded friends, especially if you have any that have young children or babies. You definitely want to repost this in all your social media accounts. This is one of those important messages that need to get distributed. I'll attach the link. Watch the clip. Let me know what you think. you got a darn good idea what I think. And you know what the doctor thinks, don't you?